Hi right, everyone, this time I'm going to be watching my race against Rick the Card on the penis track Whistle Valley, so... Of course, he has a home field advantage, his car goes about two times faster because the name matches the track, you know? He has a really nice livery too, but... I'm from America, so I don't know what flag that is, you know? I don't know my map. So anyway, the race starts off, immediately he's faster than me. I, I cannot keep up with him, he's very good at this game. So you're gonna be seeing all the mistakes I made here. Why is he going faster than I am? So let's see. He takes the curb, I barely hit the curb before I turn. So he probably had more speed going into that corner. And he takes the curb here again, you know, he is going more smooth going out and then into the turn and I'm just going straight wherever I am I just turn which is probably not good because he's in front and I'm behind now yeah this is a 28.035 of 28.126 so every little thing you do actually does matter and that's why I'm not catching up again his wheels were over the curb on the first turn and mine weren't He's doing it on every turn. If you really pay attention to his car, and I'm not. See, here we both went wide. You know, that wasn't too optimal. But he is consistently taking the curb, and I'm not. That's the main thing difference. Point. It's wasting point 0.1 seconds. See, I think I did this one faster this time because I went out and then in before I turned. See, now I'm catching up. I'm actually driving properly now. I remembered how to drive. Good for me. I almost hit the CCD there as soon as I said that. No one have been very good. And now I turned in too wide because I'm running out of tires. I'm on 29. He was probably doing a better job saving his tires too. Oh wait, no, no, I'm sorry. It's the home field advantage because his name is Rick the Card on the penis track. My bad. I can't believe I forgot that. Zigzagging around. Which made me catch up to him in the pit so we can come out at the same time. Doesn't really matter though, because he's driving better than me. He can get away with that. We both almost hit the CCD there. I almost hit the fence again there. And then get a little desperate and almost hit the CCD trying to pass it, even though that was an actual opportunity. Then we both hit the CCD, so I could have passed him there. But I didn't get to, and now he stopped me from getting his slipstream. But. I'm not even bothering chasing his slipstream right now, I'm just sticking to the racing line because he's more consistent than me. Just hoping he makes a mistake and then I should be able to pass him because I'm at least driving fast enough to pass him if he makes some kind of mistake. It's a little too optimistic for that though because he's driving very well. I actually get a slipstream this time because he doesn't zigzag around. So I'll stick it to the racing line is in my favorite area and I'm catching up. Actually managed to get some speed from that. Actually doing some corners properly now. Went a little bit out subconsciously. I didn't notice I did that while I was racing. Still very good. It happened again. He took the curb. I didn't. He went faster on the, the first turn of the race. And now there's a little gap between us. It happened again, he took the curb, I didn't. It's a common theme here. <laughs> I was not taken the curb on that first turn. That is not in my muscle memory and it's in his and it's working out very well for him because he is 
Now 0.2 faster than me on his fastest lap. And now this is the final turn. He managed to stay ahead. It's really consistent driving. Good job. And then I zigzag because I just accept defeat. He drove way better than me. Plus he had that little home field advantage there, you know? Not all because I suck, you know, it's it's because the home field advantage. So what we learned today is that he cheated and I don't suck. Thanks for watching.